All right. Okay. Okay, we are going to go live. Okay, it's just setting everything up. All right, all right. So we are now live in our Facebook community. I am going to go back to the Zoom because it's easier for me to work with. Awesome. Well, what's up everybody? Welcome to my interview. I am so, so excited to be doing this interview with Shelly Lynn Hughes. You know, I've had the pleasure of being part of two of her books now, and she has some exciting things that are coming up. And I thought, what better way for us to put this out into the universe, into our community, than doing an interview with her. Uh, you know, she's been such an amazing support when it comes to, you know, working with the community and, you know, bringing the community together, allowing people to share their stories, their vision of their businesses and their life in our book, in her books. And I wanted to just do this interview, you know, give us a little bit of time to talk. I know there's a lot of up and coming things and so much exciting things that are happening. And there may be somebody, some people in our community that actually want to participate in this as well. So first of all, would you like to introduce yourself to the community? Tell us a little bit about yourself, what encouraged you and inspired you to start on this mission? And we'll go from there. Absolutely. Well, first of all, Kelly, thank you for having me today. I really appreciate the invitation and, you know, just to, well, you and I, we've, we've never actually gotten together in person. So I really, I do love this very much. And thank you for welcoming me to your community as well. Yeah, that's awesome. So a little bit about me. Uh, I, I'll try to make it the Reader's Digest story, but I started Vancouver's first women's magazine about 13 years ago. First one that was dedicated to Canadian women or Vancouver women. And that about, yeah, about 13 years ago. And then from there, a year later, we uh, decided that we were going to head to 3,000 spas and salons across Canada, which was an amazing distribution system. Um, it was fantastic to go from being just from Vancouver to across Canada. And I was very fortunate and still fortunate. Um, I interviewed people like Pamela Anderson, or at least I had them on their cover. Pamela Anderson, Sarah McLaughlin, Jan Arden, Manjeet Minnes, Arlene Dickinson. And I, I was just so blessed to make that happen. I don't know why it happened, but it did. Uh, and then uh, five, five and a half years ago, this is where it kind of churned into Pursuit 365. Um, I ended up, my ex-husband and I, we got a divorce. Uh, around that same time, I was like, well, you know what, Shelly, let's just really work hard on the magazine. Let's just really focus on that. Um, so I really started focusing on Fresh, but then as the rest of the world had something going on, COVID happened. Around that same time before COVID, I was asked to speak at the United Nations alongside six other Canadian women representing entrepreneurs, female entrepreneurs in Canada. And I was so excited about that. But again, COVID happened, so that got taken away. Now, this is like three and a half, four years ago now, I'm, I'm thinking around then. So I was really sad that I didn't get to go to the United Nations and represent women for International Women's Day. And then also I was going through like a, you know, quite a heartbreaking, devastating divorce at the same time. And here I was at home with my, at the time, four-year-old and, you know, 12-year-old uh, little girls. And like, what the heck am I going to do? What, what am I going to do? This story is all going to make sense, by the way. So I was like, okay, here I am alone. My business is now about to die. I have no community because I'm stuck at home. Hmm. What am I going to do? And then I really searched deep inside myself. And I thought, well, what, what I need right now is likely what a lot of other women need right now and men, humans in general. But because I still wanted to celebrate International Women's Day on in a big way, um, and I wasn't going to New York, I'm like, well, how about I build a community? I want to share my story. So let's share other people's stories. But I also need help with my business at the same time. We're during COVID now. Like, what are we going to do? So that's how Pursuit 365 was actually born because I thought, well, I could just give up right now and be depressed and sad. And, and but no, let's let's really support one another. Mm -hmm. So Pursuit 365, I thought, well, 
I'm going to get 365 women to my website every single day to freshmag.ca every single day for a year, starting January 1st. And then I'm going to interview them and I'm going to support them in their business. But on the other side of it, I know women, we love to help one another and share stories. We're villages. So I was like, I'm going to get 365 women, share 365 words of something personal and inspiring and life-changing to share with others that will not only help others, but actually help ourselves heal. I think it's really important to talk about when stuff's going on. And I think it's really important to feel like you've been heard. Mm -hmm. So 12 or 12 weeks later or something within six, six months later, when we launched it, this is our book, the 3.6 pound book. And we have 365 women in it. So we sold out in that one very quickly. Uh, very proud of it. We got into a hundred, hundred um, libraries, I believe. And then also um, yeah, we were best-selling Amazon bestseller status. So that's the beginning of Pursuit 365 and how fresh evolved and how I evolved. Yeah. And I can, I totally relate to that too. And that's probably why, you know, I've been on this mission as well, just like yourself. And, you know, I lost my business because of COVID. I had just opened a salon and I was working with five different women and I built this business. Uh, you know, my mom's a hairdresser and, you know, pretty much like as soon as I got my business license, I had to shut down. And I, you know, I had this burning desire to support others. And that's how the vision for me started was like, how can I still continue to operate and support others and drive traffic to them and bring them business and create a community, but not having to be in the same place. And that's kind of how my business got started as well. So, you know, that's, I guess that's how we relate so much. And you know, I'm, I always see all of your amazing posts and interviews in the magazine and everything like that. And I'd love to participate in that as well. And let's talk a little bit because I know that you have, we have some other things that are coming out and some things that are about to launch and we have a, a huge event coming up as well. So let's share a little bit about that. Like since that happened and since you started your first book, what's evolved since then and what's coming next? Okay. So we, the next, so we did this one and I, I actually thought that was where the business, where the business or the project was going to end at this white book here. And um, what's interesting is it says it is presented by me, but it's actually everyone's names. You can't see with this light is on the cover. You know that. Yeah. So after that, I had people come to me, well, men, more men come to me and say, well, Shelly, we want to participate in one. So the next book we did 365 men, women, non-binary. We are an all inclusive company. There you go. That's the one. Yeah, you were in. So we are totally all inclusive. Yeah, you, the names are all on there. Three hundred sixty-five, and like the cover says, featuring three hundred sixty-five co-authors who lead by example in the everyday pursuit of success, happiness, and achievement. Mm -hmm. And so that was the second one. Now we're working. Now the third one is about to come out, and this is our entrepreneur edition, of which you're in as well. This one's actually really exciting because two of my previous employers, I'm actually in the same book as them. And I just love it. It's, it's so amazing to see how much I've evolved since I worked for them. <laughs> like I used to sell cars and do insurance with Brian Jessel and all those kind of things. And now I've evolved to be in the book with them. So it's really awesome to see. That's so cool. That yeah. is so cool. So then this one, I decided, well, it has to be a little bit different. And I wanted to expand because now the book is selling in six or seven countries. Um, I was like, well, it's time to expand and do something a little bit different. I didn't want the same old, same old. You got to evolve your company. You got to pivot. You got to change things. And I, you know, a lot of people from the first and second book are in the third book as well. Like some of them are in three. So this one that's coming out on February 27th is 365 entrepreneurs slash business people. Because entrepreneurs and business, small business is quite, they're different. Um, sharing 365 words or less of either a business story that someone could learn from or business advice. And like you said, we've got some pretty incredible entrepreneurs. Like we've got Brian Jessel, BMW, he's there. Jimmy Pattison, you know, Jimmy yeah. Pattison's done an extra, I think he did like another four or 5 billion in the last two years. So he's yeah, up. the owner from 1-800-GOT-JUNK. I worked for them too. <laughs> yeah, Brian Scudamore is yeah. in there, which I'm super excited about. Um, Dr. Ann Kaplan Mulholland, um, my mentor who did the forward in the first book. But we also have people that are maybe just newer in business. Maybe they're doing 50,000 a year. Maybe they're doing 100,000. Maybe they're doing 300,000. Like we have small businesses as well. And I think that no matter what, we always have something that we can teach someone. I don't know everything. 
sometimes I talk to someone who, you know, maybe they're just starting out and they, they, they teach me things. So three, so that comes out February 27th. And what's interesting is I really try to color code my books. So like the first one was all white with the women and full color on the inside, but then this was the black edition. The next entrepreneur one is red for power or, you know, like, like success. Right. So that one's red. Um, then we got the next one, which I haven't even announced yet, but it's only 111 women, um, one, one, one. Um, this one I'm opening up to people right now, like in the last 20, what say 48 hours we opened up, but it's called beauty, beauty and brains. Uh, and it's a two page spread in that one. So that one's pink with black writing, right? That's my and, colors. <laughs> my favorite colors, pink, pink and black. <laughs> pink and black, exactly. So that one, and we've got people from, um, oh yeah, so the, the entrepreneur book, yeah, we've got people from um, New Zealand, Australia, Mexico, United States, Canada, the UK. Nice. So my my goal was to keep expanding. And I try to say like now we're, we are a community without borders and we 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 can relate to each other and, and we just have to, you know, really understand that just because someone's across the world, uh, you know, they've got something, they're they're important. And, you know, just like our community members, everyone's important. Mm -hmm. Nobody gets yeah. left behind. Yeah. I um I know, Hannah. There's, no one left behind. Right. There's quite a few actual business partners that are part of the beauty squad that are are in some of the books as well. And I've actually made some really amazing connections. Um, with some of the people that are in the books as well. So, you know, it's really great to be a part of a network like this because you may find somebody that either inspires you or a business mentor or, you know, somebody that you can like lock arms with and, you know, grow your business venture with as well. Like you never really know um, what the possibilities could be when you actually take time to read people's stories and connect with them. Absolutely. Um, I met some amazing people um, just by reading the chapters. I'm like, wow, I really connect with so-and-so. Let me follow them on Facebook and send them a message and say, you know, thank, thank you for writing your story. It really inspired me. This is what I got from it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And it's not just about being part of a publication. It's about connecting with the community. And that's what I really love about your network and everything that you're creating for all of us, Shelly. And that's why, why mainly I wanted to do this interview with you today. So more people learn about who you are and, and the stand that you take for us in the world. That's so, thank so you nice. That. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I always think that we have, no matter where we are in our life, no matter where we are in our life, we have the power to help people at the same time when we need help. Yeah. So I would not be here and doing what I'm doing without my community. Right. Mm -hmm. And I know that like what you're saying, um, connecting. Right. So for me, I have a lot, I say to people like, you know, if you need something in your business or your personal life, I likely can connect you with someone who can help you. Yeah. Whether it's a, whether it's free, whether it's just a friend, an organization, or if it's like a small business deal you need to do or a large business deal I likely connect connect you. So I just always figure that no matter what, uh, we can always, we always need help. I always need help. Yeah. I'm a, yeah no matter I'm what, I have the goal, power to yeah. help others. Yeah. I'm in the same position right now, you know, like since COVID, my business has evolved several times and, you know, having connections in, in life and business is, you know, it helps you get further a lot faster rather than trying to figure it out on your own. And that's what I've learned the most about being part of networks like, like this yeah. and, you know, connecting with people like yourself, like um, you know, you never know what people really need until, you know, you get to know a person and you learn a little bit more about their business or where they may be struggling, you know, like our whole community is based on business support and how can we generate more customers for the businesses and how can we generate more income for the single moms that are at home that need to pay for their business beauty services or health services or get a massage or whatever it is. But, hmm. you know, um, you never really know the network keeps expanding and I keep seeing so many cool names that keep coming into the network. And I'm really excited uh, to learn more about them and to, you know, lock arms with them and, you know, shake their hands and we have an ex a special event coming up and I'd love you to share about that. And then once I, um, once we complete the zoom, I'm going to have you, um, comment and post the link on where people can get tickets, but I'll let you share about the convention and everything. Perfect. That's amazing. Yeah. So I'm the kind of person, business person, and even just 
in general. I just stay in my own lane. I do my own thing. I learn from others, but I'm never jealous of others. And I may not understand what other people are doing, but I generally think, you know what, if we just stay in our own lane and support each other the way we support each other and not really, I mean, you kind of got to worry about what your competitors doing, but I feel I don't really have competitors because I just figure when we can, no matter what, we can be of service to other people. So uh, I just like my, the convention's called the unconventional convention. I love it. Uh, I've got everyone that's speaking is it within my community. Uh, I really try to, when community supports community, you know, someone said to me, well, why don't you bring this person in or that person? In? And I'm like, well, they're not part of my community. You know, we've got people like, you know, we're doing a photo shoot with Arlene Dickinson coming up, but Arlene's officially part of our community. I mean, it'll be my second one with her, but I want speakers that are there that we support one another. So everyone's speaking. So the morning um, opens up. It's it's in Delta near the in BC Canada. So it's near the. Do you know where the, you know where the tunnel is? Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a Cascades Casino Hotel there. I think it's, yeah, right. it's the brand new one. I haven't even been inside yet. Excited. <laughs> yeah, so it's, it's pretty. It's not that big. Like it's. I mean, it's a decent. The the casino small, but I'm not really worried about. But the area. Um. So we'll have about 200 people there in the morning. We have a sound bath. Anastasia, or, or sorry, Henrietta. She's coming to do a sound bath for the room. And then in the morning is like health, wellness, beauty. Um. And then lunchtime. And then the afternoon is all business and finance. And then our keynote speaker is Anne Kaplan Mahalan, Dr. Anne Kaplan. She's amazing. She's flying out from the UK to come and uh, speak. And I've seen her multiple times. And again, she's my mentor. So love her. And uh, so she's going to do that from, from 5 to 5.30. And then at 5.30, we've got a special entertainment coming. And nice. then from there, 5.30 to 7.30, we're going to have our launch party. So if people can't make it in the daytime, they can buy tickets for the launch at, at the night from 5.30 to 7.30. And that'll just be like entertainment, shopping, networking, just having fun and getting to know one another. That's amazing. I'm really looking forward to it. So anybody that wants to get a hold of Shelly, we're going to put all of her contact information. I'm going to also tag her in this video. Um, you know, we're going to put this on all of our social channels as well. Um, anybody that would like to participate in the next up and coming book. Yes, or... that one's going by the beauty and brains, the beauty yes. and brains one. That one is going to be special. Amazing. Yeah. yeah I definitely want we to interview, the difference that. between the other books and this one is that we're actually giving you the questions and interviewing you. So that one's going to come out in May. Uh, that's the big difference. So it's their logo and a photo of them. And then, yeah, the questions turned over. Awesome. And again, yeah. the pink and then the black cover is just going to be so pretty. Uh, you know, I'm already in. <laughs> I, I like I'm in. Love. Anytime I get an opportunity to share about my vision and share about what we're creating in the beauty squad, I'm all for it. hundred percent. Not to mention all the amazing people that I get to connect with working alongside of you, Shelly. It's just been amazing so far. Um, so we're going to put all the details for anybody that wants to get in touch with Shelly to participate in the up and coming books. And also if you'd like to come and participate and join me, at the convention, unconventional convention. You know, I'd love to see some more of our beauty squad members and community there as well to support and network and meet all the amazing people and learn uh, learn from the people and the speakers on stage. It's gonna be fantastic. And we're gonna put all the details in the post as well. So thank you again, Shelly, so much for taking the time today to meet with me to have this, you know, little one-on-one -on -one chat and interview. I think it's really important for more people to, um, you know, learn about your community, learn about what it is, the stand that you take for all of us in the world and, um, you know, participate as well. So thank you for your time today. I really appreciate it. And thank you for having me. I really appreciate you having me on. Yay. That was awesome. Thank you so much. Have a good day, girl. Bye.